Hello, hello, good morning. Uh, happy Thursday today. Uh, Arkin, hello, how are you doing today? Uh, looking at my activity feed, it looks like a uh, toggle bit gave toggle bit gave us a shout out uh, five hours ago. Uh, so I wonder, um, wonder what was going on then. I was sleeping. That was. Uh, oh, you were you were there. Uh, was it uh, something about um, uh, SQL X or or Axum or something like that? You forgot what it was about, so you're totally useless. You're not useless. Nobody's useless. We all we all forget these things. It doesn't matter in the end. All right. Uh, but thank you, thank you to Togglebit for the shout out. Oh, there's a discussion about SQL. Sorry, ORM. So perhaps something about SQL X. Maybe also about CRM because. Um, I did I did something on CRM a while ago too. So that that could be it as well. All right. Um so today we're talking about uh we're we're figuring out seeds with SQL X. And I was um I was thinking last night. You know, there's a there's another way of seeding a database, or there's no way of getting data into a database, which is the copy command. So from PSQL or just like a normal SQL file, you can um, you can run the copy command, which will then copy a file in. Now I don't think we can run that from. I don't, I don't think we could run copy from file from inside of SQL X, but we could just uh, write a shell script that does it, like a really, 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 really simple bash script that just runs copy from, like a PSQL copy from, uh, and then just like hands the file. So, Is that something we want to do? I don't think so because one of the one of the we'd have to hard code the IDs then. We'd have to hard code the IDs, and one of the one of the issues that I ran into when I was teaching was uh, you're like, okay, I want to reset everything. And if you don't delete the database and you just delete everything inside the database, the IDs don't, like the sequential IDs don't delete. So unless you're using UUIDs for the IDs, uh, which there's an argument for that, then, then you're not, you're not going to have um, consistent IDs and it's, it's going to be sort of in an unknown state. So maybe, I don't know, maybe, well, I, I think we'll just go with the program. Okay, so creating a seed program. Did I write down up here that we're gonna have to do? SQL X doesn't have separate seeding functionality from migrations, so we'll need to put our seed somewhere else. I recommend that we create a separate program to seed our database so we can choose when to run the seeds and they aren't tied to migrations. Okay. Uh, all right, so creating a CD program. This is going to be a very simple uh, Rust uh, program uh, that we will run um, essentially like uh, after migrations uh, in order to add um, data to the database. Uh, 
So we we can include everything in main, but I, I think that it there's an argument for uh, having like the connection happen in main and then and then have the seeds all run in in like the library file. Yeah, so every um every every place that I've worked at and every every time I've needed to do seeds, that's generally what you do is uh I guess like the so the idea for seeds and uh I think I put that up here. We want we want some like we want some data that we know exists for testing purposes. So we want to know like okay, uh a we want like we want these three games in here. We want these two platforms in here. Uh, we want these these games and these platforms to be in there, like every single time. We we want that. Uh, so that that way, that way we um, for testing purposes, like okay, they those always exist. They they're always there. I don't have to like go in and manually add them every single time. It's just like a little bit of autom automation help for us, and it's often for testing. Uh, it's often for like just development help because it's nice to sort of like see things happen. Um, and uh, sometimes you want this in production too, because it's like, oh, uh, we went out and we got, we grabbed like, you know, a thousand of the popular games. And so we want to just have them in the plot, in the system. Uh, so that way you can like, you know, purchase them or you know where they are or something like that. Like those are all options. But yeah, so that's that's the hard coded of the seeds. Now, you see the points, but you're not really a fan of this approach. Do you use seeds and what do you do for seeds? I don't or do you not use seeds at all? Not really, no. For testing. If you do, do you do test do you do like a full stack testing, like end to end testing, where it's like testing, hey, does the entire system work? It's like you need to build a new code base for each test. Uh, I don't think it's that you needed to build a new code base for each test. So I think it's more of for each developer, you want each developer to have a consistent start in their database. So that means they have like a consistent set of things in the database. With with other developers, and uh, and when you have automated tests in CI/CD, you want to have a consistent start for that too. And it's really nice. Okay, it's it's also really nice not to have to put those tests like to to seed the database in the tests themselves. The tests can just say, "Oh yeah, we ran the seeds. It's fine." You see it now? Awesome. If if there's any more like confusion about it, let me know. It's um, I'll I'll need to uh, I want to make sure I like write it in here. So, first spin up a table. You often want some data on it, be for testing purposes or have data for production. Uh, it's nice to put this data into code so that when we add new developers or spin up databases for testing, we have consistent starting place. So I guess like that's. That's sort of like my my thought of where we're going right now. Uh, all right, so uh, the main will look like. Um, actually, I don't even know if I need to show the main because we've already done that like previously in the connections. 
So it's like, well, the connection set up in main.rs and the inserts in live.rs. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. So inserting the, um, the games and the platforms are pretty easy. Uh, Xanax, hello. Uh, let's see, let's do Docker start, get that going. Uh, and then we can, oh, I keep on meeting that I want to, well, I don't know if it matters. Uh, Nexus, hello, how are you doing today? Uh, let's see, so, um, Let's full, let's full screen this while we work on it. Uh, all right, so we have our basic uh, main. So let's do, oh, we probably want a, um, I don't know why, even like with relatively new libraries, everybody's still, consistent and insistent on using URL for these when they're not URLs, they're URIs. Uh, that might just be like the old admin and me being like pedantic about it. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but like URL search the HTTP. Postgres is not a URL. Um, okay, username, Postgres. At, uh, at. I want, um, X. Okay, so, sorry, that. Let's go to main and get our connection going in. Dottie, hello. How are you doing today? Good morning. Uh, okay, so we have main, uh, main, we want to do our connections, we'll get our pool. Uh, I guess we need to grab, oh, we need to grab, um, like, is there even a purpose for me, um, like opening up a new window to do the install when I have to restart the LSP anyways, I might as well just quit out of Helix and then just do the cargo add, uh, dot in envy and then get back into it. Let's go down here. Let database you are I equals I I'm like 
Today, I'm like feeling more annoyed about that than I nor normally am. I don't know why. Uh, all right, so we're going to do uh, dot. Um, I mean, we can do this at. We can use this at. Um, oh, I could get this at, at either of them. So I'll just do the standard method. Standard env. Uh, var. Whoa, whatever that was, I didn't, oh, no, I didn't want to go all the way back. Okay, expect missing database URL. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to connect to reference to database URI. Uh, we'll wait, expect, okay, there we go. Uh, Dottie, you're doing good. Uh, you managed to uh, get a good GitHub workflow test working with SQLX last night. Oh, that absolutely is a win. Great job. Uh, Bomero, good good morning. Hello. You feel that way because it's uh, it, uh, because it's more for the people reading it than anything else. Hence, the feeling of incorrectness is uncomfortable. That's probably it. Probably also is because like I'm feeling more tired than normal today, and like it's it's um, I guess maybe it's like harder to regulate my emotions when I'm tired until it's like okay, it just like bubbles up more. I think is I think it's like I think I feel the I feel it every time, but sometimes I feel it more than others because of the uh, uh, tiredness or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, so here we grab our database URI. We use that to help create a pool, um, and now we can use the pool to connect into everything else. So we can now create a new. Uh, source live.rs, and uh, we're gonna want I, I think just a bunch of functions in here. So we're gonna have a pub async function, uh, seed game. Oh, we could probably just seed them all, right? It's like seed, seed database. Uh, we'll take in a pool which can be a reference to a pool with Postgres. Uh, and then after that, I don't think we need anything in here. We're good to go. Okay, so and then we can return a, uh, oh, let's use, um, let's use error. Nope, I didn't mean to go full to cancel full screen. I meant to open that up. Okay, result, and I don't actually care about that. We're good to go here. So we can just end up with that. Uh, and I can actually uh, call this now from main down here. So we can now have a um, C database and hand it a reference to pool. Uh, we'll await and expect Okay, there we go. Now we can do seeding of database for uh, individual things. So we want to start with games, right? So pub uh, async 
function seed games. Now, how do we want to seed the games? Um, do I want to just hard code the data inside of here? I'm not sure I do. I, I think it might be better to create a JSON file and uh, or CSV. Probably a JSON file. Although, um, Surdy can handle both. I haven't really done much with C with CSV and Surdy. I think I've used it once uh, in the past, so I've I've forgotten about how to use that. Surdy JSON is pretty easy to do. Okay, so um, seed games. So let's um, let's start with creating. It's like before we even write that. So that way, it's not like in an error state. Let's uh, let's create a file, a JSON file that holds the seed data for us that matches the models that we're going to go in, uh, and then that way we can we can pass in. Maybe use query file and pass in a SQL file. Wait, is that a thing? Oh, there it is a thing. That is a thing. Oh yeah, we can do that. Query file. I completely forgot about query file. Yeah, we can do that. That way we don't hard code. We we stay with the seeds and make that look relatively the same. Uh, so let's let's find out how that works then. Um, all right, so we're going to create a new file and we're going to put that. So I wonder if that goes, it's, I don't think that would go into source. I think that would stay out here at the root of the document. So let's, let's, uh, do this, um, like seeds dot SQL. Uh, and I, I mean, just standard SQL at this point in time, right? So we'll do insert into uh, games. Uh, we just have the name, if I remember correctly. Values, and then we can do, um, then we can do like each, each game as it's coming in like this. So uh, if I remember, we had Starfield. So Starfield. Uh, we had, um, do I need the, the parentheses if it's only one value? I don't remember anymore. Uh, let's see. Okay. So insert into games, name, value, Starfield, uh, and then, um, Baldur's Gate 3. No, you only need quotes if there is a space in SQL. Ah, oh, okay, so we can get rid of these. Um, let's see. I think it's easier. There. Okay. So we'll delete. Okay, we'll insert those. So that's that's fine. Uh, and then insert into insert into um, platforms uh, again we have name values and so we're gonna have uh, steam and uh, switch okay and then then the tricky one insert into game platform uh, we want game ID oh do I not need the uh, parentheses up here either I bet I bet I don't right
but this one I will. Oh, I need the prints around those. Okay. Even if it's just one. Got it. Uh, game ID, platform ID. Now with this values, uh, we definitely do need parentheses now. So game ID. This is gonna be this is gonna be interesting, right? Because I don't know what the IDs are at this point in time, and um, this is one of those things where like uh, students would get stuck because they would run the seeds after not like dropping the database and restarting, and so the IDs hadn't reset. And uh, we our our answer to them was one of two things: either figure out how to reset the auto incrementing ID which we purposely did not tell them. We were making them go figure out how to do that on their own. Uh, or write your seeds in such a way that it doesn't matter what the ID is, and it will figure that out. So I figure I'll do that uh, because I, I think that will help with like any... Uh, this will also be sort of like a subtle, a subtle introduction into subqueries too. Uh, all right, so... The game, the game ID, we can do a subquery here. Uh, it's really going to be two subqueries. Uh, so I can do like that. This. No, stop. Okay, uh, and then, uh, okay, so to get the ID for the game, if we're doing Starfield, for example, we want to do a select game ID from uh, games where uh, the name is equal to Starfield. So, okay. Get, get the game ID where that one. It should only find one, so therefore we should be fine. Um, and then this one is gonna be select a platform ID from uh, platforms where uh, name is equal to theme. And that's that's one of them. Okay, so the next one uh, is Baldur's Gate 3, and that's also on Steam. And then finally, we have Stardew Valley on Switch. Okay, and then that becomes a semicolon. And that should be it. That should that should uh, insert all everything. Okay, so uh, we have you written. Let's switch over to our file. That's the that was the same file. Okay, so we want to now have pub async. Um, so in that case. I don't need like another another file. We're gonna just see database and just do it right here. So we're gonna have um, uh, we can maybe get the response and sort of like check to see how many were done to make sure like the the correct number were done or at least that some were done. So uh, let our result equals uh, this is gonna be a um, do a query do a SQL x. Query file, uh, and then I assume this is going to be the the name of the file. The file must be relative to the project root, the directory containing cargo.toml. 
Okay, well, I think that's pretty simple. Uh, unfortunately, I already forgot. This is called seed study, seeds that sequel. Okay, uh, and then I want to um. Oh, you were wrong. Postgres expects parens for each row of values that you are inserting. Oh, not so in other SQL platforms. Interesting. Now, because this is a library that runs in different platforms, I guess, I guess, oh, you, so, I wonder if it's doing anything to the SQL. Probably not. So it's probably just a light connector connection around it. That kind of sucks. It's like insert into table. There's that column name, although it looks like that's optional. Because I could do default values as opposed to, okay, that's weird. Um, yeah, looking at this is always like weird. And then um, values, and then, yeah, that's not, that's not in the square brackets, so that's not optional. You are very much right. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go fix that. Uh, I guess like uh, let's um, fetch. Yeah, when all else fails, RTFM. Uh, fetch one. And at the pool, await, and question mark. What are you upset about? Paths relative to the current files directory are not currently supported. I don't, but that's not what I'm trying to do. Ab Well, and look at that. It actually look it it tests that for me. Okay. So it uh it lets me know that there is that error in the file. So we can now come here and say, okay, all right, so it didn't like these. So let's um ooh, what's a good way for me to do this? I can't just do C's like that because I will get everything. So I can select all of you. Uh, what is my search going to be for this one? Quote. Oh, single quote. That works. So if I do that, we'll go to the left. Go over there. Um, match surround that. There we go. Back to you. Resave. Cannot insert multiple commands into a prepared statement. Ah, okay. So it, it, oh, okay. So it can only, I can only do this one at a time. Well, that's too bad. Okay. So this seeds can't actually do all, the, I have to do one at a time. So I have to have three seed files. I think that's what I'm. I think that's what I'm. I'm hearing. I can't do insert into multiple things like all in one statement. I don't think, right? Um, arch archification, archification. Um, for thing and file, do thing. I don't think that's work. That's how it works because the. Uh, I think it's gonna be. I think I have to set it and say like, hey, do this thing. 
uh like just run this file like that that's that, that's thing some coding guy uh welcome uh welcome 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 also thank you so much for the raid um how are you doing today how was your stream nightshade dude hello hello how are you doing how are we working on today Iko, hello uh is matt hello good morning your stream was good we got to oauth fun and uh we wrapped uh oauth is always nice i feel like i know several people who have been working on auth stuff recently a digitally signed nes game redemption oh interesting what does the redemption part mean Uh, you redeem and you get your name signed into an NES ROM. Oh, oh, okay. So you just like get your name, okay, added into it. I was like wondering if it was like a financial redemption or something like, okay, you, you just got to get it back or return it or, or something like that. Uh, that makes more sense. Um, all right. We are working on a, uh, a course, a uh, tutorial for uh, SQL X. Uh, specifically with seeding and database. And so we're trying to figure out different ways that is doing it. Um, uh, Twitch redemption. Okay, that makes that makes even more sense. So a little bit, a little, little bit of rewarding stuff. That's cool. Uh, so yes, um, yes, Arch. Uh, we need to just like, I need to hand it a single file uh, per time that I use that file. So anyways, we're we're running with seeds, and so we've tried a couple different things in the past. We're using SQL X, uh, and um, uh, first I tried to use like the migrations for it, but I really hated that. Uh, they don't the SQL X CLI doesn't have a separate seed system for it, and nobody's talking about it in the uh, issues. So clearly, it's not something on their radar at all. So I don't like to put seeds into migrations themselves. I just don't. So instead. Uh, I am creating a separate application for that. Uh, it's a little separate program for it. Uh, we're using the query file macro uh, to get some protection while we're doing that. But in uh, this very simple SQL um, insert file that we have, uh, we get this error. We cannot insert multiple commands into a prepared statement. So it, it we can't do this all in one file, even though it's like so small. So, so simple, it just doesn't work. We have, it looks like we're gonna have to break this out into different files for each insert. Uh, but uh, somebody, um, who was it? Was it Arch? Arch, was it you? Um, linked to this issue, which is still open, uh, support for inserting multiple records. So how do you do the equivalent of insert in my table values, blah, blah, blah. Not possible unless you generate the query yourself and lose a lot of the compile time safety features as a result, which we don't want to do. We want to keep the compile time safety features. That's the entire point of SQL X. Oh, there's this like insert into groups. The trick is that you can pass in a vector of items to a Postgres array type and unnest. Yes, yeah, so we could use unnest. It is pretty hideous. And I don't think I want to actually have that be like, okay, this is how you do it in a course, because I think I think if I did this and I said, like, this is how you're going to do it, people would be like, I am not using SQL X anymore. You can parse the file into different buffers and pass the buffer content one at a time instead of the file itself. I don't like that, though. Like, it feels like too much work. 
like the entire point of this, it, I want it to be just like super simple and like you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to do like that much programming. Uh, some coding guy, you got a raid and run. Well, thank you again for the raid. Have a great, uh, have a great rest of your day. And uh, thank you. So with a, with a as, select row number over, but that's also only creating one table and I want to create three tables. Yeah, uh, but then we lose the subquery too. Like we can't easily do that as well. So I don't know. I'm not really happy. I think. I mean, we could also. Yeah, I absolutely could just do like one of the other bulk insert methods that we have uh in um i was kind of hoping yeah the the issue is just well yeah the issue is that uh, i can't do that i can't do uh like a multiple multiple things now what i could do is just break these up into three files one per table and then just run that three times and just say okay uh run run the insert games like seed games run seed platforms run seed game platform that might be fine and i i think that might be the way i want to go it's like the simplest way so if i like take this and i cut this out and we create a new one and i um name this seed uh, platforms. I did not. Okay, can I rename? Did not mean to make that a rest file. I did not need to paste that in. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> um, all right, let's go back to here and let's undo the delete. Let's just fix that in here. We're gonna do um, move. Okay, so we have seed uh, seeds. I want to move that to seed games. Dot SQL. We move seed platforms to seed uh, platforms. Dot SQL, and then I also want to touch uh, seed um, game platform.sql. Um, and in this case, because there's now three files that are just sort of seeding in here, let's actually create a new directory uh, called uh, seeds. And we're gonna move seed star to seeds like that. And so now we can see inside of seeds, we have uh, Seed game platform, seed games, and seed platforms. Okay. So if we take a look at seed games, we have all views. So games are fine there. Let's take you. Uh, we'll go into seed platforms, paste you in. Uh, we'll head back to seed games and get you. 
to the game platforms and paste you in. Okay, so you should be you should be happy now. Cause it's it's um because there's there's an idea of like a bulk insert into one table, and then there's a bulk insert into many tables. And that's where we're really running into issues here. So then if we go back to our library, so we want to uh, we're gonna go into seeds. Uh, seed uh, games um, and then no such file or directory um, error return from database uh, syntax error at or near starfield okay so now back to here Oh, right. This is where I need to. Apparently, I lost that. I must have undone too much. Uh, we want to select a quote. Do that. Okay. Error term from database relation games does not exist. Uh, do I not have? Did I reset the database? Oh yeah, I did. I I totally ran revert on all the uh, on all the um, uh, migrations, didn't I? So hold on, let's uh, let's fix that. Yeah, let's uh, full screen this, and we will see the. So we've got cache. Cargo temp, uh, rations. Okay, so we were planning with seeds in here and they did not work whatsoever. So uh, instead we're just gonna do a SQL X migrate run. Right, uh, I need, I probably just wanna drop the database at this point in time. Uh, SQL X, which I think we can do that here. Yeah, we can do SQL X, database drop SQL X tutorial oh look at that reset drops the database specified in your database URL recreates it and runs any pending migrations I probably if I had seen unexpected argument SQL X tutorial Oh, oh, drop just uses that. So I just want to do a reset like that. Drop database at Postgres. Uh, very nice. Thank you very much for putting that onto the, the terminal. Luckily, it's a local one, but that's like, I really don't like it when they like just dump things onto the screen. That includes secret stuff. It seems to be like a CRM. And uh, SQLX does this a lot. Um, error return from database, database SQLX tutorial is being accessed by other users. Um, oh, because I'm even, just because I'm, I'm coding inside of here, it has an active connection into it. So we need to exit out and now we can run this again. Yes. There we go. Uh, who wants to laugh? I'm in, I'm trying to install a GPR build. Uh, make PG, make package refuses to install it because GPR build is a dependency and is missing. Oh no. Oh, I hate it when that happens. That's like a recursive spaghetti problem. Like that's what package managers were meant to like package managers like made all of those issues go away. Like I, I, I've rarely had those since then, but when you do, it sucks so much. Uh, all right. So we now have a database. We now have the, uh, the, um, the tables so we can move back up to here 
and we can um helix again jump into here and then you should be fine and happy okay you are so it it believes that it's going to run this uh we're going to get pg row um i want to fetch one i think i think from this we can say like if result dot now can i can you tell me what this is I just get pg row i want the count uh when you do an insert like this doesn't don't you get the count back of like how many were created Can I can I debug this? I don't think I can. I, I if I vaguely remember, uh, result is not doesn't implement debug because of reasons. Yeah, PG row doesn't implement debug. Hmm. And then you don't have anything in here. When we do an insert, Okay, let's go back down. Okay, so I don't care about on conflict. Uh, out outputs. On successful completion, insert command returns a command tag in the form insert OID count. The count is the number of rows inserted or updated. OID is always zero. It used to be the, oh, is that zero ID? Oh, zero or O? Oh, I can't tell. Uh, assigned to the inserted row if count was exactly one. So basically, it's all that. Okay, that that's fun. If the insert command contains a returning clause, the result will be similar to that of a select statement. Okay, so we have an insert OID count. Um, ooh, how do I get that back? So I don't know how to do like insert. Is it um it's not like a tuple type, right? Query it separately? Oh, we could. We could query it separately to like determine whether or not it worked. So I could just run that. Uh we can then execute. So we don't care about the return. Uh, and then we can um, let, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I return count? Is that, is that a thing that I can do? Uh, ooh, but that would have to be in the sequel, wouldn't it? I have to do something like this, right? Where it's returning counts like that. Is that is that a thing that I could do? Let's find out. Um oh Uh, count must be used to call parameterless aggregate function. Okay, so no, that is not a thing I can do. Okay, so we'll do we'll do what you're suggesting. Uh, 
Um, okay, so we'll do let uh, account equals SQL X. Uh, we'll just do a query. There. Uh, query. Our query will be um, select count from games. I mean, that's all I really want to do. Uh, I want a dot uh, um, fetch one and the pool. Uh, we await and question mark. Count star must be used to call. Oh, oh. Wait, was that other one going to work? Wait a second. Did I just not use count correctly? Aggregate functions are not allowed in returning. Okay. Uh, returning, can I just do a subquery here? Select count. How about that? Oh, but I get a PG row still. Oh, I get a PG row because why? Um, okay. I don't. I don't know if I can get the the number from it. Uh, it's like count dot one, count dot zero. No field on type record. Available fields are count. Ooh. Ooh ooh ooh. Okay. Uh, let's debug. This is not airing out. This might this might work for us. Okay, uh, let's run this and see if we get the um, if we get if we get at least this one works. Uh, which would, it'd be so nice if it does. So um, I want to because then you know what we could do we could do this in a transaction, um, and then if we don't get the number that we expect in here at the minimum. We could roll back, uh, potentially. Um, okay, so let's go down to here. Let's. Uh, where are we? So we're we're in this other temp directory. We're gonna do a cargo. Run. Okay, so let's uh let's first start with. I'm just creating like a bunch of um a bunch of little windows here. I want Docker exec table of games. Okay, so we've got nothing in games right now. So I got all these windows open and I'm just full screening them, so it's uh it's a little bit hard to see, so sorry about that. But uh Bull First Dad, hello again. Uh, if PG row is just a count, does that mean you can use query file as and pass an I32 type or something? Ooh, we might be able to. We'll we'll try that. We'll try that. So um, uh, let's do a cargo run. I 
I think I should be able to do an I-32 or something like that. Okay, so we got a count. Uh, it's apparently an option, which is uh, surprising to me. I, I thought that even if it's zero, also, uh, that's zero there. Uh, so if we take a look at you again, um, Oh. Well, that was a uh, a nice idea. That did not work. Um, let's try. Instead of uh, returning, let's just return the IDs. Let's return the, uh, oh, it's not ID, it's um, game ID. Wolfer said, you just accidentally tortured a fly? Oh no. Um, that doesn't sound good. Uh, so let's try So we're going to return the IDs, right? So I think we're going to do query file as, and then your type is going to be a vec of I32. No rules expected the token seeds games at SQL. No rules expected this token. Oh, oh. oh. No, no, the no. type doesn't go there. I forgot. I forgot how as works. It goes, it goes up here. Uh, it's gonna be a vec of an I32. And that, that's what we do. Uh, what are you upset? Um, oh, we have to use this method instead. Okay. No such field. Struct vec i32 has no field name game id. Oh, it needs to be like a struct. Now, I can't do an anonymous type here, can I? Where I just have a game id as an i32. Yeah, it needs to be it needs to be like an actual location to the uh the thing. So we need to do a struct um so this is going to be like a game. Game ID is an I32. Uh, so you're going to be a vec of game. No such field. Oh, right, right. It's not a vec. We don't have to worry about the vec. It's just. A game like that. No rules expected the token. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so now we have that. Uh, and now we can have count. So this is going to be um, returning IDs. I think this is going to be. Uh, games and so we can debug games duplicate key uh, value violates unique constraint. Oh, right, because we're not allowing the same name in here again. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Bullfirst Dad. That that sucks. Um, yeah, it it sucks when you like make assumptions about something and then it turns out that it's like, oh no, it it wasn't, and then I accidentally hurt something. So hopefully, 
Um, hopefully it will be okay in the end. You look at you can look a cute dilly, and uh, there'll be um, uh, that'll be like sort of like the what what is it um, eye bleach or something. All right, so. I was hoping to be able to like figure out like okay did I did I get uh did I get back what I what I'm expected um and so far the answer is no if I if I don't return the ID can I can I just say like hey give me a number or something Okay, so what's the problem with this one? Oh, oh, the problem with this one is duplicate IDs. This actually works. This works. Uh, and I need to, ooh, so I need to, re I need to, um, I need to choose whether or not to destroy the database beforehand. I don't think I want to. Um, It's going to do this all in one transaction, so it'll undo that. That's fine. Although it'll do that only. It'll do that only for this one thing. Oh, we could do them all in a transaction. I think that would be best. So. We'll do a pool dot begin to get the transaction. So we, we get our transaction. Uh, then we inside the transaction. Oh, can we use, use returning star? Then you can get back the entire content for checking so you can use the original game struct. Yeah, absolutely. We can't. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think that's a problem. Do that. Uh, game has no field name, uh, name. So we have name, it's a string. Okay, so that makes you happy. All right, so I begin a transaction and at the very end, I want to uh, end the transaction. So that's going to be a uh, transaction dot. Uh, oh, but then we want to know if there's a problem or not. So let's do a let mute um, is uh, successful. Uh, we're going to say that this is true. So if is successful. Uh, we're going to do a transaction dot commit. Uh, commit you. Oh, that's it. Uh, then we just await. And that's it like that. Um, otherwise, we're not successful. We're going to do a transaction rollback. So don't don't attempt to insert anything. So like for example, if none of the games are in there, but we have like one of the other things is like, ooh, some of them didn't work out. Let's go ahead and cancel, cancel. We don't want to do this. It'll be fine. Um, okay. Uh, then in here we have to match this. So we're gonna match you. Uh, change you out so we'll do an okay uh so this will be uh the games uh, we can check them here now so we have we have our games here um interesting this is just a single game 
Shouldn't this be a vector of games? Because we're inserting multiple things. Uh, so let's say debug games here. Uh, and then we're we're fine. We're just moving. We're moving on, and we don't even need games here. Um, then we have error. Uh, so first off, I do want to print out what that error is. So e print error. Uh, so this is gonna be error. Um, uh, error inserting games. Print that out. Uh, then I want a transaction. Um, no, not transaction. I want is successful uh, to be false. Uh, and then that ends. We don't need the semicolon anymore. Uh, we end here and uh, it goes to down to here and we're good to go. I don't need this debug anymore. Oh, and I'm not looking for you. Uh, I am debugging this game, but I guess it doesn't really need that. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine, code. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Now, it should have that same error. Um, error in certain games, error return from the database, duplicate key value. Okay, so cool. We get, the, we get a good error message still when we have that. So let's go and reset the database. Uh, so we're going to do a delete from games, delete all those, and we're going to run this again. Um, all right. Why did you only insert? Okay, so we got one back. Uh, but all three are in here. Oh, I did, uh, I did fetch one, didn't I? I did fetch one. Yep, fetch one. I just fetched the first one. I want to fetch all. That would give me what I want to get. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, so then you are, delete from you. There we go. We now get them all. They're different IDs and that's fine because let's say we've like added a bunch of other ones and now we want like, okay, let's add those, those seeds in. Okay, so um, back to you. We can check here now um, if games.length is um, like not greater than, like uh, 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 less than, okay, so it needs to be if it's less than three, because we're adding three in, so we, we need at least three games in here afterwards, um, then uh, I want to, is successful, um, just say, hey, we're, we're not successful. Uh, we can also just e-print line. Um, we didn't insert enough games. Uh, I'm doing like less than three here because like if we do like more games later and we forget to update this, at least this part will still work and the logic won't screw us over. Uh, it's a little bit hard for me to um, determine like, well, how, how do I know like, that's gonna be a little bit hard to determine. So I, I kind of want like at least some number in there. So we start with that at least. And if one works, the rest of them should work because otherwise we're going to get an error, which then shows up down here. So I, I think I think we'll be fine, especially since we're actually we're like we're querying this. So I think we're all good. Uh, so there is uh, there is um, query file as for game. So then we do the same thing for. Uh, let's see, we do the same thing for. 
platforms. I would do the same thing for game platform. Now the problem here, this file is already like this. This uh, function is already getting a little bit unwieldy. Now I don't care about the error, really, do I? I just want to know if it's successful or not. If I create another file, another function for this. So we have pool. Can just loop off the query passing in a different file name. Can I do that? Oh yeah, I can. Hold on. I like that. So then we'll have let um seeds. Uh and this is going to be this could just be an array uh that's going to have uh strings. So we're just going to put in nope, not like that. Like this. Uh, so we're going to have um, Oh, but how do I do how do we do the type? Maybe I don't care about the return value. Because this is going to be a different one each time. So I could do this, but we give up. We give up the as. So we're do this out here like that. We don't do you. Um, okay, in that case, then you become. For seeds, for seed in seed. But maybe it's okay. Maybe, maybe I'm just being paranoid and I don't really need to care that much. Generics could work, but that's probably over the top for the lesson. Oh yeah, absolutely. That that would be way over the top for this. So then, okay, so we want seeds, uh, seed. Platforms, SQL, seeds, uh, seed, um, uh, games, plat uh, games platforms, game platforms, SQL. Okay, so for seed and seeds, uh, we might still be, we still do the match though, because we're still new, doing this in a transaction. So I just do, uh, we're gonna, uh, I don't, we're gonna execute. So I don't care about returning value. Uh, query value is now gonna be uh, the seed. No rules expected the token oh um oh wait 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 oh no how do i pass in the actual value oh it thinks i'm passing in oh it's not taking in the variable it's taking in the uh the like the literal word seed oh no this isn't this isn't working <laughs> Because it's a generic, uh, sorry, because it's a macro, and macro macro is like 
change the rules about how programming works. So I'm not passing in, I'm not passing in uh, the contents of seed, I'm passing in the word seed. Stupid macros. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, oh man, I'm trying to do something clever, but like, okay, I mean, I think, I think we just want to be simpler and, uh, and not, and not worry about it. Uh, macros being a pain in rust once again, it's like, it, it's one of those things where like macros make things so amazing and awesome, but then it's also like little things like that. It's like, all oh, right. Okay. So this is, this is the, um, cost of using the macro. Okay. So I can't, I can't do this. This is not, this is not an option. Now I get the error if, if we do that. So if we, if we go back to, uh, if we go back to this, Hand it you. Cancel fun. Uh, it does. It does feel like that sometimes. Uh, we just execute, so we don't care about the return value. Uh, if it's okay, so in this case, um, if it's okay, is fine, right? Meaning that uh, we're not going to get anything back, and we don't care about that, so we just assume. So I don't need a match anymore. Then we're going to do an if let error error equals uh that yes uh to um we e print line the error and is successful is false and then you have to be a, a semicolon i believe um, okay, and then, yep, no, you're fine. Uh, execute, what are you upset about? No method named execute for this. Um, query file. So, sequex query file dot, I didn't like have anything weird at the end of this line, right? No, dot execute. Uh, dot await. Oh, no, no, don't, please don't, don't worry about backseat driving. Like, I, I feel like one of the ways that we all learn a lot more about this is through like uh backseat driving. Like to me, I feel less of backseat driving with that and more like, Hey, we're mobbing. We're, we're all figuring this out. And then because of that we all learn a lot more very fast. And that's the point. Query and check game doesn't seem too bad as a generic. Maybe, but I don't know. Um, I don't know how I would know which one to do. I don't know. I don't know how it would know which one to do. Also, why? Why? This happened to us before, and it was something else, wasn't it? Okay, so we have um, if let error, and then I wait at the end of that. So I have to like, okay, so I have a dot here. So I'm. it's not like I did something else weird with that. No method named execute found for struct map in the current scope. Uh, I'm doing query file, so I, I removed the type from it. So that should be fine. It's a string in there. It 
it's a result type. Oh, is it is it something weird where I have to like um go like that? No. Okay, so that didn't. The problem was okay. Let's let's actually just try restarting this then. We're gonna do a um. Okay, let's 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 make sure it's working just as it is. So we're gonna do SQL X. Uh. Refile like that. Uh, we do. Seeds, uh, seed games. SQL. Um, Balder Van Mutten. Hello, it's Greg. Uh, hi. How are you doing today? Is it not execute? I thought it was execute. I did fetch one. That works. Um, let's see. You fetch, fetch many, fetch all, fetch one, fetch optional. Oh, wait, does, is there not a Oh, weird. Okay. I have to do a fetch from this. Oh, is it because I put the returning in here? If we get rid of you. I forgot about that. Now is there a, um, nope, still no execute. Okay, so we're still gonna do fetch one. Uh, that gives us a, we're getting a record now. That's better, I suppose. Um, okay. What can we do with this? So I want to, can I just debug a record? No, I can't. PG row. Um, wow. Result. Oh, and then I get game ID and name is coming out of here, but I, didn't I save that? Uh, insert games into values. I'm doing games, okay. I feel like I need to restart the LSP. I feel like I'm getting weird stuff. Okay. I mean, you claim you're going to get this coming out of here. So sure. Let's, um, let's, oh, okay. Now you're not. Now you don't know what this is. Okay. That's kind of what I was expecting before. Okay. Uh, now we have an execute here. Okay, the problem wasn't actually the running. The problem was just the uh, Rust analyzer got started freaking out and didn't know what was going on. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so we're going to switch back to if let error, error equals to this. Uh, we're going to get rid of the question mark. Um, and then... 
uh we are going to just um uh, we're going to e print line uh e print line and so we're going to have error um error seeding games print the error out and then we'll set is successful to be false uh, and then there's no return, so I don't need to do a semicolon there. All right, so we've got that. Um, now, this is the if let, if let error. Um, that cat is perfectly still until he's not, but yeah. Oh, his lower body is perfectly still. His his head, he's like moving around every once in a while and just sort of like looking. Uh, but of course, he's not he's not paying attention down. Also, uh, magnetic Krexu. Uh, hello, how are you doing today? Um, okay, so there, there's the other one. Uh, let's see. I think this is fine, right? There's the other method of doing... Um, uh, of doing... Oh, I could do like if error without the, without the let, right? I could do if error... Oh, but then I don't want to like have to like handle the okay. That doesn't feel weird. That... Oh, I guess we could do the other way around. Like if um. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot how to do it. There's the other. There's the other method of the if st if statements. It's like if instead of let. It's like if error that else. Like if okay. Like, uh, nope, don't want to. It'd be something like this. If, okay, oh, I don't care about this. If, okay, uh, mismatch types expected a Boolean found. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, else. Uh, oh, but I can't, I can't actually get the actual error out of here. Oh, expected and, oh, can I do an if? No. Oh, it wants. Okay, I'm just going to do the if let. I think that makes more sense anyways. We're just going to stay with that. Okay, so here's here's one sort of like block of this that lets us know, hey, are we are we successful or not? Did it did it work out? Uh, all right. Now looking looking through this a little bit more, I might be able to I might be able to make it a little bit nicer if instead of passing in the pool, I could pass in the transaction itself and have the main file deal with that. So I could say, okay, I want actually here I want a transaction. Which is transaction it's gonna be a transaction uh it was something like uh underscore is that a lifetime at the beginning of that so i need something like an anonymous lifetime or like an yeah like i don't know if that's anonymous lifetime it's like an um unknown lifetime or catch-all lifetime 
And then I want, uh, I think it's Postgres. Uh, then we don't have that. Uh, executor, we don't pass it a pull in. We do this fun trick. Uh, need to make you mutable. Okay, okay. So if I do that, that just gives us a little tiny bit more. Um, now I don't need is successful anymore because we're gonna do the commit or rollback elsewhere. Okay, it's starting to come together. Now it's just the normal, the normal things again. So I don't need this if let at all. We're gonna do, ah, CQX, query file for that, execute it, await. Question mark. Get rid of you. There we go. So we do that for you. And now I just repeat that. Uh, three times. So we'll do seed games, seed platforms, seed um, game platform. Yes, okay, I, I know. There's a problem in the actual SQL. That's why we use the we use the macro. Okay, so that makes things a little bit simpler. Um let's see, okay, so C databases, we take in a transaction here. Now to make uh to make it a little bit easier on the main file, we could just have pub async function run here. Uh, this takes in the pool, uh, which is the Postgres. Um, this can return a result. No, this one will not, this one would just crash. And that's okay. So this one will just run like that. Uh, we create our transaction. Uh, we then run seed database. And if there's an error, we, uh, let's say, okay, so we, we match seed database, hand it the transaction, uh, we give ownership to it, that's fine. Um, we await, and so if it's okay, uh, we don't actually care, um, and we're just gonna return an okay, like that. Actually, we just return, uh, which means if I don't actually care about the okay, I don't I don't need a match. We're gonna replace this with an if let error error here, uh, and now here we can say e print line uh, error seeding database. Um, and at that point, we could then do a transaction dot uh, uh, rollback. Oh, I gave ownership to it. Okay, never mind. I can't give ownership to you. Um, I need, okay, so I need a reference to this.
mutable reference to a transaction. Uh, we have the mutable reference, and so now we just dereference you here and here and here. Oh, you don't know how to get it? Uh, I was kind of I was kind of hoping this would just work. Um I mean So if I dereference a transaction, I get the executor. So, I mean, in this way, I want the executor. I'm I'm looking at the time because I have a meeting starting in like less than twenty minutes. So I've we 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 might have to do an emergency stream shutdown in like fifteen minutes or so, uh, right like right before my my stand up. But um, let's uh, let's see if we can like let's see if we can get this done. I want to see if I can like can at least like get the transaction working and like seed the database, and then we can write all this stuff tomorrow. Um, okay, so seed database. Uh, can I get the executor here? And then uh, I'm gonna say that, and then we're going to. And let's um, comment you out so we're only worried about one at a time. Okay, the treat bound unknown executor that is not satisfied. The following node types implement trait executor. PG connection as executor, PG listener, any connection or pool as executor. So what that tells me is that we can do, uh, this is gonna be an executor. What was the, what was the, what was the type again? Uh, it was executor that C Okay, so if I if I put in that, okay, you're no, you're not happy. Uh, trait objects must include the dying keyword. What? Oh, you're a trait object. Oh no. Oh wait. Okay, you no, you don't work. It like tricks me. It tricks me into thinking that it's working because it turns normal color and then Rust Analyzer finishes running. It's like nope, psych. You're not working. Uh, it cannot be made into an object. The trait cannot be made into an object because it's self-sized. So I would have to like box it. Um, so we could box it. Oh, I also... Let's return result because we are uh screw like that okay so uh transaction wait wait was that the problem that i ran into did i forget to oh, i forgot to await it so it was a future that i was passing in not the other things this might have been this might have been fine so I might be able to go with transaction again. Uh, this is gonna be a mutable reference to a transaction with that and Postgres. Uh, and then I want to just dereference the transaction here. Not satisfied. 
it needs like the trait bound transaction on unknown uh postgres the executor unknown is not satisfied it needs the pool db so can i say ooh that okay can i also do pool uh postgres and then you were like a you were a reference i think here Oh, it's a lifetime. Um, I guess that makes sense. There is a lifetime symbol here. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at this URL. Function accepting any executor. Uh, on May. On May 11th, is that this May 11th? So in the next branch, soon to be 0 0.6, you'll be able to write this. Async function, some function, mute executor, impul pg executor. Uh, am I, I think we're using 0 0.6, right? So transaction, this will be a, a mutable reference to a, wait, it's an executor, right? is gonna be an impul pg executor. Uh, implicit elited lifetime not allowed here. Um, and then I don't want executor goes there. Okay, so why, why do you need a lifetime? Is there any update on this? Was this closed? I can't tell. Maybe. So if I, okay, so if I just have an expected and explicit lifetime, so if we just create a lifetime, uh, so we have the, um, I don't know, E lifetime, let's say. And then it's the, where would I put that? Like E. Is it impo on which side does it go on? Mute executor. Okay, so basically, I don't impo pg executor. We just do a mute executor like that. Uh, that didn't like that. Implicit deleted lifetime not allowed here. Um. Oh, because it's a trait. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Uh... Oh, mute executor. Okay, so let's mute executor is going to be impul pg executor, but. Implicit lifetime not allowed here. Do I have to like tell it E here? Maybe, maybe, is that working? Okay, so we have the transaction. So I want Expected one of equals or type 
What did I do? Oh, if uh, air equal. Yeah, screwed that one up. Okay, maybe. Uh, let's see. Then I'm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so transaction dot. Uh, so if this is an error, we roll back. Await. Question mark you. Um, else. Do transaction. Hey, 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 I think it's, I think it's working. I think it's working. Uh, so now, run you again. It should have an error because we've already done it. So, uh, panicked at error running seeding database. Did I, I'm just question marking you. I'm trying to grab you out. Uh, Live line 18. So line 18, execute. I await and question mark this to so see database. Wait, wait, am I running that in main? I am. So I want to switch you to run main, to run, run. No, don't generate the run function. Uh, I want run like that, uh, I hand you, I just hand you the pool and then you go and you go and do this thing. Okay. So maybe error scene database. Okay. So rolling back. Excellent. Uh, which means that, uh, if I do my delete from, and we enable all three of these. Uh, you will be, I want, uh, executor, Um, you're unhappy because I have a problem near there. So, uh, see platforms need, uh, smooth that. Okay. Now you're all happy. Uh, executor, well, no, do you need to be clonable? Use the move value. Okay, do I have to clone you? No method name clone, no! Okay, so I have to do, I have to do the seeds three separate times. Probably needs to be a reference, yeah. We're so close. Uh, so if I, if I just pass that in, but like, no, I need to, If I press a that can't be a reference, it has to be a thing. Oh, I was, I was hoping that I'd be able to get away with it. I was hoping I'd be able to get away with it, but I can't. Okay, um, I'm gonna think on this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a um, uh, I don't have a, a stream this afternoon, 
So I'll be back at it tomorrow morning. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna make this work. Um, I will save this and I'll remove the two deletes. That way we can continue with this tomorrow morning and hopefully get it working. But like, oh, we are so close. Like I, I could put this in like an RC ref cell, but I really don't want to have to teach that just for this. So I think I think we're just gonna go with a simpler method. So anyways, we'll um I'll I'll yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, thank you all for hanging out with me today. I'm I was really hoping we get a win at the very end, but uh, uh, we'll we'll just we'll we'll just we'll we'll just deal with it tomorrow. So here's the schedule. Um, I'll be back online tomorrow at 7 a.m. Mountain Time for an hour and a half, and then again in the afternoon to finish up the lesson. Hopefully, get to recording it in the afternoon, and then that'll be it for the week. So with that, have a great rest of your Thursday, and uh, I will see you. Next time. Bye.